Well, this has been a great discussion. Um, before we end, I'd like to ask the panelists for any additional insights regarding their expectation of value-based care in the oncology healthcare setting. Dr. Carlson. <laughs> Well, I always have to struggle when we talk about value-based care because value means so many different things mm -hmm. to so many different people. And even for individuals, it depends on the context and what we're talking about in terms of what value really means. Um, you know, I, I think in my, my definition of value when it comes to uh, oncology care really is whatever the patient tells me it is. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what should what we should focus on in, for some patients that might be finances for some patients it may be uh, survival um, for some it may be whether they retain the ability to speak after their laryngeal cancer is treated um, it can mean many many different things um, and so let the patient tell me what value means and I'll accept that definition and work to achieve value for them Ms. Carpenter Great. So, you know, I think um, something that you talked about earlier today was sort of value frameworks and how they are uh, entering into the to the system. And at Avalier, we've been pa partnering with Faster Cures uh, because we've looked at value frameworks and and not felt like patient the patient voice has really been represented. And so we are working on a patient perspective value framework uh, that's going to take into account. Um, feedback from hundreds of patients and stakeholders from across the healthcare system. So I would stay tuned for that. Beautiful. And Dr. Fox. Ah, so there's a new paradigm uh, that the CMMI and the oncology care model are promulgating, and that is physicians um, uh, being at risk for the total cost of care mm -hmm. for cancer patients. I, I think um, uh, for too long, uh, uh, Physicians have kind of been insulated from the cost of healthcare, and now they're actively having discussions about that, driven by these value frameworks, including the ASCO value framework and the NCCN evidence blocks. I think that's a good thing because I think it will help get onto the table mm -hmm. not only the financial issues that patients face, but also the, the benefits and risks of the therapies they receive. And I think that's where the real value is. I, I agree with Bob that, um, uh, that a, a, a clear discussion of all the available treatment options and what they cost and what the side effects are is really where we need to go. And I think the patients will drive that, but they need physicians' help. They can't do that in a vacuum. Wonderful. Thank you all. On behalf of our panel, we'd like to thank you for following the Spring 2017 Oncology Stakeholders Summit Series. We hope you found this peer exchange informative, and we hope you'll join us as the series continues. Thank you. <laughs>